Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to Adventures in Paint Pouring. I uh, had a bunch of fails today trying to do a cloudy effect a la Melly D Artist. She's fearless and awesome and I failed at it so I, I'm changing direction. Um, I need to do a couple smaller pieces for the coffee shop um, that I'm taking over in May. Um, so I thought I'd just do some um, puddle pour blow dries just to um, have some little guys to hang on the wall. So that's what I'm doing today. Let me show you the results from the last video. Which is this guy who I named Mr. Bling. Check out the, the gold. It's dry too. It's dry. Not varnished. Nothing. It's just all gold bomb. Loving it. Um, very pretty. Dried perfectly. He'll hang out with me uh, for a couple weeks and then get varnished and go up on my um, in my Etsy shop. So look for that guy in a couple weeks. He's pretty great though. Loving all the gold. It just the, the gold really um, came through during the drying process and it's just really blingy. Very, very pretty. Step back, the composition's pretty nice. So uh, pretty happy with him. And then, uh, yeah, speaking of my Etsy shop, um, I posted a couple things last night. Um, I just wanted to highlight and back, I guess like a month ago when I was on the whole um, balloon kick with everybody else, I did a couple um, deliberately um, and I wanted to use more masculine colors. So that's what I did. So this is the first guy, it's on a six by six on wood with the um, blue gray colors and the burnt orange and some navy and um, a lot of depth in this particular uh, flower piece. And I like it because it's not, you know, the blues and pinks and reds of ordinary flowers. Um, so that one's up there. And then along those same lines of, you know, more masculine colors, which you shouldn't assign a gender to a color, but what are you gonna do? It, like, you know what I mean when I say it, right? What else am I gonna say? This is a gender neutral color, like, anyway. Uh, this one is like Payne's gray, copper gold and white. Um, same deal. Uh, this is an eight by eight on cradled wood. Uh, I need to add hardware maybe. Um, hanging out resin looks great. That's from Etsy. And so is this guy. This one was actually sold during the auction by one of the people who ghosted me. So it's back up on my Etsy shop. It's just a little tree ring pour, has hints of gold. I've been on a gold kick, obviously, a lot lately. Um, but very pretty, just on a little round. And then finally, the other thing I resined was this guy who I don't remember painting. Um, obviously I did because it was in my resin stack and I pulled it out and I thought, I think maybe I did it and I didn't like the cell, so I was like, meh. And like, you know, put it off to dry and, and promptly forgot about it. And then when I pulled it out, the texture is just amazing on this guy. I love, love, love the composition. No matter how you turn it, it looks really great in the texture and the colors make this piece. So I went ahead and resined it and I let the sides um, natural on this guy. And I started to do the write-up for um, the Etsy ad, and then I decided, no, I want to enjoy it and love on it for a while. So I'm going to keep it for a couple months because I want to be able to enjoy my own art and be like, oh my God, like I made that. Like I made that. Like I don't know about you guys, but like whenever I make something that's halfway decent, I'm, I kind of blow my own mind like oh my god I can't believe I did that that's I have I have that feeling pretty constantly so uh yeah that's how I feel about this one so I'm gonna enjoy it and plus I don't want to be like a factory like an artist like cranking out the work just to sell them just to sell them because for me this is still a hobby um I'm not and I'm not in it for the money as you could tell by the auction so uh yeah I'm gonna keep it for a while and uh Okay, enough of that nonsense, let's paint. Uh, so the first one, so that's my uh, mess from another failed um, attempt. Luckily, I'm only doing them on 10 by 10s or 12 by 12s. Uh, the, um, the cloudy effect with using satin enamel paint with my Artist Loft white, and um, I'm not there yet and ready for 
prime time to film that yet. So uh, I'm just gonna change gears and do this. So I have these, um, they'll have time to dry and get a coat of Minwax um, before they go to the coffee shop. So I got my weight down. This is my first one. I'm doing three. I'm doing a 12 by 12 and two eight by eights. So I've got my white. And the one thing um, experiment today is I'm using some Deco Art Metallics. Uh, I have three metallics and I've never used their, uh, their paint before. So that'll be interesting. I got my cups of white ready, got my hair dryer ready. So uh, yeah, let's just do this. And I picked again, darker, more non-traditional colors. Um, so yeah, let's just give this a, give it a go. Let me give these, these are all fairly thin. These are uh, no silicone, no pouring medium, just water and paint. That's it. Make sure it's nice and runny. And uh, let's see what happens with this deco art stuff. Well, that's obviously not a metallic, but the next one is. It's like a blue, gray, green color. Kind of interesting. And let's do, let's do purple. Let's do some deoxying purple on that. And then maybe something brighter and happier. And I have a little of their, I don't know what they call their silver. Can't find it off right right this second, but this is their version of silver. Okay. Right. Let's give this a go. See what happens. Should be plenty. Hair dryer time. paint because it's larger and I think my hair dryer is dying too because uh, the low setting I can hear the motor go mm. love the colors right super pretty super super pretty um, let's add a little more purple in that silver just to get up here like right just a little bit here and I might do some here. I'll just do the purple, silver, and white. And I don't know about you guys, I am so stoked for Game of Thrones tomorrow. I um, Last night I was uh, watching HBO, took all the little promotional videos, like the little 50, 15 second things they've been uh, showing, and they put them all together in one clip. And I watched that, and at the end of it, I went, Phew! 
because I, I was holding my breath the entire time. I was like, oh, oh, can't wait to see who wins the game. I'm kind of of the opinion, though, that it should be somebody like Sam Tarley, you know, somebody smart and unassuming and, uh, you know, he comes along in the last episode and says, you know what, I read this book and it says if we take, uh, you know, poison darts made out of dandelion seeds, we can kill the, the Night King and he wins the whole show. So, I'm, I don't know, that'll never happen, but... It'd be, it'd be fun. Man, I'm loving these colors. Loving the colors. I'm going to add a little white right there, too. But absolutely adore these colors. There and up here where I splooge because I put my hair dryer on high. And I'm going to dip into there a little bit, and then I'll give that a little blow. All right. Let's see if we can finish it off this time. the old-fashioned way. Let's uh, throw on some gloves. Move this around. It's going to blow on it. Certain spots. God, I love the colors. Love, love, love the colors. are great colors I might cut some white into this like right here what did I want to blow right there oh that's awesome right here yep up there don't want it to be symmetrical right there I can get close just a little bit maybe this way and then back out on oh the colors oh so gorgeous Stopping right there. Let me give that a torch. Let me get a paper towel. So I don't have a lot to talk about because, you know, I just filmed the day before yesterday. So, it's Saturday afternoon. My husband's out playing tennis. My daughter's outside running around because it's a nice day. I'm like, oh, I can use the blow dryer. No one will know or mine. Let me see if I want to add white to break up anything. I think I want to blow that a little, just a little bit more and add some white right there and be done. Yep, let me blow this a little more. And maybe 
There we go. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Best color combo ever, y'all. I'm loving these colors. Loving it. The, the, what is the name of this color? Is it just pewter? Yeah, so this deco art, this in the middle, it's not, it's not gray, it's not blue, it is, it's pewter, and it just adds a lot of interest and goes so well with the purple and the, the uh, navy blue. Wow. Like, really awesome. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna add some white, right there. Right there, maybe right there. Let me do that, and this one's done. Or tor give it a torch. Uh, do something. I'm gonna break this up right here. And then just push it over. Get over. Put a doll of white there. Like that better and maybe right here too. I'm gonna put some white and give that a blow. Oops. Made like a nice little section of cells right there. Yep, that one's done. Gorgeous. Where's my torch? I'm not bringing up Mac Daddy today. I'm gonna use my regular torch. Let's see if I even get, I don't know if I will. Oh yeah, yes I will. All along the edges. I think I'm gonna make my paint a whole bunch of cells right there in the middle. Uh, go ahead, turn off. So let me show you the first one. I'll move him to the side. Actually, I need to make room on the counter. I'll move the put the paints over here. Can you guys? It's on a diagonal for you. Um, yeah, not touching him. Gorgeous. So that'll be nice, nice, the, like the centerpiece, you know, there's a, a wall in the coffee shop that's like, there's only like, um, I measured it, it's like 15 inches um, by like 40 inches. So I was gonna put the, the 12 by 12 in the center and then the two little guys on either side, you know, that was, so that's kind of why I'm making these today. But let me lift him up and get him close. So you can see that one on hopefully the colors convey, but it is super pretty. I'm a little bit worried that um, parts of it are gonna dry dark because you know that deoxyene purple is a transparent color. And when they're transparent against the white, they tend to dry dark. So I might like wanna give that another little blow just to, uh, I don't know, I kinda don't wanna mess with it either. Like right here, that's the only spot I'm kinda, kinda sorta worried about. It's kinda there, got like a little white mix in there. Um, just cause I know that's gonna dry really dark. All right, number one, done. Yeah, you're pretty, we like you. You're very pretty. Uh, number two, I want them to be complimentary, but um, they don't necessarily have to be matchy-matchy. So let's think about, yeah, see my giant mess? That was three failed attempts at a, at a uh, cloud um, pour. Three, I can't look at it, it hurts. Hurts to look at it. Um, add some white to my canvas. I'm gonna make sure my white is really nice and thin too. I'm gonna to add a little water to my white. I 
it shouldn't uh, you shouldn't have a trace if you're just gonna do paint and water you don't want it too thin you don't want your paint to break up but you don't want to have a trace either like I shouldn't be able to do this and have a mound you want it to, be to just like pour in and the only thing I can tell you is is how you tell if it's too thin or not is when you're mixing it if it, the paint pours straight in when you feel the paint with your stick it should still have some body to it and that's the thing I can't show you that that's just a feel it shouldn't feel flat if it feels flat that probably means um, it's too thin and prone to uh, disintegrating so if it feels like it still has a little bit of body you're probably okay that's the best way I can describe it all right so my white oh yeah see that's nice and let's do this real quick and it went around Sure, get my sides come down toward me, and this one side, and get this one corner. All right, good to go. Number two, let me see. Well, let's start off with that pewter. See, <laughs> go right back toward the pewter. It was just so pretty. We're gonna do the pewter. I think I'm going to skip the, the uh, navy and do, I have gold too, so I might do the purple. We'll do the lighter blue-violet color. Let's try some gold, even though... I don't care. I'm trying it. I like, ooh, it seems thick. Hold on. Oops. Is it making a tr trace? No, it's good. Some gold. Just because I want to try the metallics. I'm splooging everywhere. The white with my gloves. Where's my white? Do I have white still left in here? take these off my poor hair dryer is already so paint paint laden that I'll try to keep some of it off all right take two number two done that is spectacular does that sound conceited there's nothing to do with me all I did was pick the colors that's amazing I'm in love with the metallics oh my goodness totally in love with metallics oh they are amazing wow I'm sort of I am like totally blown away right now by the metallics and how they're interacting with um, with my uh, Liquitex Basics colors. Just stunning. Go Deco Art. Let's see what happens if I torch. I'm not touching it, I'm not doing a thing. It's perfect. Oh. Yeah, it, well, it's, or it's popping bubbles. Oh, it's selling a little bit. I don't think it needs anything else though, really, honestly. Oh, it just made a bunch right there. And it's got the lacing, yeah. Let 
let me add, where's my white with some, I need some more white on the one corner right here. Check my sides look amazing. Oh, I got out the um, the last of the uh, shipment from the auction, so everyone should be receiving their paintings, uh, all except for two people, and that's because um, they're special order, they want something extra, or sent, they want resin or whatever, but everyone else um, should have theirs. I'm just like gonna talk and admire this one for a second because it's so, so gorgeous. Uh, and yeah, they'll be uh, coming in the next day or two, hopefully, except for the people in Australia. It'll be probably a week. That is just so gorgeous. All right, put on, let's see what number three does. It's making the first one look boring. And the first one I thought was pretty nice, maybe a little dark. Um, you know what else I like too is like the blurry effect on the sides here. Uh, speaking of ghosting, maybe that's what I should do is uh, use the enamel paint with the metallic paint because that's gorgeous. Um, and I gotta find a spot to put him while we do the third one and then we'll be done. Things out of the way. My trusty spoon. My paint. Let's move all the paint out of the way. Everything to the right. Number one still looking good though. All right, so here's number two. Afraid to touch it. So that's number two. Looking good. No, I'm gonna, oh, I can move it a little bit. Yeah, I'm leaving it just there. I don't want to mess with the composition at all. Done. Spectacular. All shimmery. That should dry really, really great, too. Uh, all right, number three. Oh, my poor tarp. Where's number three? Here comes number three. Yeah, I'm feeling like number one is too dark. <laughs> I might end up pulling that one out. And like, yeah, let's redo him. All right, white. Wait, can you guys see? Yeah, you can see. white and I'm gonna need a little more water in this cup let's give this a stir what did I do what did I do in that last one I did pewter purple the light violet and gold I'm gonna skip pewter this time and do, I may do like purple and silver. Blue, purple, and silver, silver. Let's just see. Good to go. All right, number three. Number three, let's do Yeah, I feel, I'm feeling like the first one's dark, but I'm gonna leave it, like, you know. You're never gonna be able, you know, when you make one like that second one, you can never recreate that. All right, 
get some glue. Glue. Now let's do, let's do this. We're going to do blue, purple, silver, and gold. Hmm? And we're going to skip the violet and that pewter this time. And we'll do that. See how that turns out. I forgot how fun these are. They really are fun. Come here, my poor hair dryer. Sorry for the hair dryer. I like that one too. Not as much as that second guy, but it's pretty. Man, I don't think I like this part right here. The rest of it, and it needs something right here, like some white. I'm gonna hit the hair dryer right there and then add some white. Got overzealous. See, that's what happens when you're on a high from the last guy. Right? Let me blow on him a second. See, the other one, I didn't have to do any work either. This guy's gonna make me work for it. Ooh, I like that deep purple. That's, yeah, that helped a lot there. Let me turn it around. I think I need some here too. Just like a little bit. I'm cutting up here. Let me futz a second. One way. Blow you off. Oh, I don't like 
like the direction I went there. Hold on. Yeah, back that way. That's good. Really pretty subtle lacing in the middle of this guy. That too. I don't like this. Hmm. And then uh, maybe I just whoa. You want to keep that pattern? I need that to sit there with the lacing. Hold on. Yep, got to work for this one. I'm impressed with the metallics not getting muddy, too. I see other like blowing and blowing and blowing, and they're like, yep, okay. I'll move without getting muddy. Don't want to leave that much white right there or add just like a little bit of color. Maybe up that way. Mm, I don't like that line. Better. There we go. So picky, I know. So, so picky. Take him off. Let me stare at it a second. I don't know if I like this hard line of gold. This is all um, lacing and cells in the middle. I'm happier with the, with the ends. Maybe I'll leave that gold. Yeah, I think I'll leave that gold with the purple next to it. Done. Done, da, done, done. Okay, so I'm really happy with the two little guys. Let me bring him up, or let me give him a torch. Let me wipe off my fingers. I don't know, or does he need a little more white? See, I'm gonna start fooling and I should just leave it alone. But I kind of want to go, I kind of want some, some cut-ins. There and over here. And just give those a blow, let them settle a second and give them a blow to make them wider. Trying to make that look more natural. There we go, got some wispies in it. There we go, now I'm happy. The second. <laughs> so there's this guy, yeah, I'm happy with him, he's pretty. There's that one there, done. I didn't even torch it. I'm happy with all the um, lacing and baby cells. Uh, in the middle. I'm going to revisit the first one. I feel like it's too dark. I do. These other two, uh, I like the composition of the first one, but the pewter, it, um, 
is totally taking over completely. Where's my torch? Gorgeous. Done. Let me find, let me swap out. Oh, I love the, the um, cells on the end of this one. Let me swap out the big guy. How am I going to do this? Let's just put him, but hold on. I didn't put my tarp all the way, like a fool, I didn't put my tarp all the way across my island, which is what I normally do. And then I have plenty of room. It only goes about halfway today. Well, I wasn't going to do this. I was initially just going to do my tree ring pour cloud thing and call it a day, but uh, I'm going to move you guys a second. Bear with me. Because then I can put him. I'm like working in tight quarters. Him right there until I can get these guys moved and bring him over. Put him back in the puddle. Yeah, see how dark it looks now? Right? I feel like it's totally too dark. There, and then you guys come back. Over here in the one clean spot I have left. Kind of like that. Yeah, these gloves are shot. You try to save the gloves as long as you can, but after a while. How's that? Is it better? Okay. How's that? Pretty good? Yeah, too dark, right? Even though the, the center is really cool, it needs it needs a shot of color. It does. It needs a shot of the gold. That way, all three have some gold in them, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do just right smack in the middle some gold. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that much, but a little bit of gold with. Hmm. Maybe I guess the blue violet, just a touch, and maybe some of the silver. I'm probably going to wreck this whole thing. You watch. Well, yeah, I'm <laughs> totally going to wreck it. Uh, that's all right. Look at it running. It's like, let's get out of here. There's a hurricane. Oh, it's too light. That was stupid. That was stupid because it's it's too light. Because this other stuff isn't going to move or come up from under it. Uh, all right, so you've got the pale blue with the gold. There's the purple. What did we do before we did purple? We did blue, gold, purple, silver. So I'm going to do purple, silver. Blue. Look at the cells popping up though. Blue. Gold. And I'm going to have to blow a whole bunch of paint off of this. Gold. Yeah, this one was just a redo compared to the other two. Where's my cup of white? Oh, that was a terrible pour around it. I'm going to add a dollop of that. All right. Hopefully this is it.
dryer. You can do it. Ugh. You can do it. Yeah, my hair dryer is dying. Do I really want to buy a hair dryer just for art? I love the center. I like the color combo. The ends need a lot of work. Right? I'm going to tilt a second too. Just want to see how much is on there. Yeah, a little bit can go this way. Come on off. Yeah, let's spread it out. Yep, spread it off. Ooh, that's actually pretty. Oh, that was a good call, Karen. That section there is gorgeous. Got rid of a whole bunch of paint. It just has zero composition now. Love that. The rest needs work. So we're going to do just like little minis in a couple spots. Do you think these three spots? Oh, it's purple gold, not purple silver. Purple gold. Let's just get some dollop. Me too. You just need a little bit. the pewter combo my pewter oh you know what I haven't touched the pewter isn't that funny that poor color even though it's gorgeous it kind of it fell to the wayside to the other colors it's been sitting there all forlorn and sad no nobody's using me what's wrong with me you're too dark shut up and stay in your corner All right, wanted a bunch of white. with this one y'all this is gorgeous that's gorgeous this is a hot mess this is okay I don't know if I can take this part up Why did I mess with it, y'all? Why? Why did I do that? This is stunning. I think it's because I have all that paint underneath and there's like too much. dissecting going on right there. What I do 
with it. Little operation. I should have walked away. What's that song? It's an 80s song with that line in it. All right. Blue, purple, silver, gold, blue, violet, white. Sorry, pewter. Hopefully this is it, y'all. two are still looking great. better composition. I don't even care about my hands anymore. Where was I going to blow? What was I doing? No, oh, I like that. Leave that alone. I'm talking to myself now. Good, don't mess with that anymore, that's perfect. Oh, I love the lacing in the middle. I like that this one's like off center a little bit. I find that interesting. Little white there. Radical change. But now now all three are, are uh complimentary. Yep, and this one's got some great lacing too. Oh my gosh. that one spot and then I'm done I'm almost there you guys are probably bored out of your mind watching me blow paint how's it look now I'll take it that's gonna sew up right there yep pretty pretty I'm gonna stop not to bore you guys anymore. I might add some white, like a little thing of white paint right there. 
I love, I love that this is slightly off center and not all symmetrical. Um, the colors really, really meshed really well. Just uh, let me hold this one up so you can see, or I gotta give it a torch. Let me um, wipe off my fingers or run them off the water. Lace, lace. Yep, I'm definitely gonna, off camera, I'm gonna add white like right there and that's it. Um, just to balance it out. Cause all the other sides have um, some little bit of white negative space. And it's just gonna, it's gonna bug me if I don't do it. Like right in here where it's not very exciting anyway. Kind of like that there and right here and then you just blow it off and it'll settle in and look natural and then over here too there we go Ta -da! Let me, uh, I'm just gonna bring the camera down for this one because my hands are fairly clean. And so you can see the middle of this guy here too. Isn't it cool? That was fun today. I can stress, I'll stress another day about the, um, the cloud effect that's like, I'm uh, obsessed with. So there's, oops, there was that guy. Here's like the second guy over here. He's still pretty great too. And then the piece de la resistance, piece de resistance, I can't talk all of a sudden, is that guy. And how long is this? 58 minutes, almost, oh my God, an hour. I was kind of due for a long one, right? I've been good lately. Fast forward mute. I'm telling you at the end of the video to fast forward mute. I'll put it in the description. You guys take care. I'll see you in uh, three or four days. Bye.